Leave me the hell alone. I'm having this fight. Studio guest, special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast paced world, the split. New beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle, a blessing. It is a revolution in the marriage guidance. For my people, marriage it is, how do you say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother, it is made in heaven and in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable, like a jerk. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement, exactly. Passion, danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I give a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I give a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean... Why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say, hypothetically, to make me all personal. It's a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You not so happy. It's a big difference, my friend. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe it's possible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. A dream. Un sueño. So he starts flirting with his secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assisting and the office furniture and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present from me, but you are a man. 
I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrubby brush and who knows what else, he's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about, well, you thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that, see? And go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes and the... Come here, come there, smile, and what then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend, but you, more likely, your marriage is ruined, Laszlo. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once, it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage, and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. Then I think to myself, no, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's New Beginnings, because that is what it is, a new beginning, Laszlo. So how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo, a miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread six and a half days a week. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs in a controlled environment. I give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Last night, you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life, passion for love, passion for women which he can take home to his wife, of course. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man, a savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to the pleasure he has lost, to the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions. Yeah, you can't judge me. Does this really make you happy, officer? Did you get bullied in school, officer? I invented that motherfucker. That Look at you. What an asshole. Ah! I'm in no ah! 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 Oh. And his marriage? It is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end, big and hairy, but fertile. She gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now she's like a whole offensive lion. by sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union, a blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. <laughs> That's great. So uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he not make you happy? No, he's an idiot and, and a jerk. But, but he's probably a good daddy, and you, and you sound very pretty. Angry, angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty, very pretty lady. This is the thing, Laszlo. The women they think in your beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to new beginning, she thinks she thinks Senor Wonderful all over, all over again. And in the extreme case, maybe she come to work for me, and she get a new beginning herself, herself. She discovered the excitement, the excitement, and the passion all for herself. 
This is Janice, you call me, you call me, cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a, that is a very early word. It's, it's travesty. I work mir work miracle, senor. Not pimp, pimping. I save, I save, I save, I save, I save, I, I give the, give the, give the passion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these essos. And that, 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 and then, and then, Junin, 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 no, you no longer Mr. Mr. Talk Show. You Mr. Who cut up my tongue. <laughs> Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W uh, we're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have, I have, pr I have pride, I have pride. I Come on, dude. Shut up. Please. What'd I do to you?
Wall Street ain't a gang? This way! Grove Street is positive, dude! Whatever you say, bitch. Uh-huh. Y'all... Sometimes I gotta roll alone, all right? Hey, ho What you trying to prove, one time? Oh, you want this to get nasty? Oh, you think I'm a bitch, huh? You revolting, asshole. Hey, family's over here. I'm in the Peace Corps, man. Dudes over here! What you dudes waiting for? What's happening here? What y'all waiting for? You marks! May fool. Lady, snitch. Do I know you? <laughs> Those new beginnings, we turn an ending into a new beginning. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. Gee Willikers, it's a puppy! 
Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. <laughs> And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, Laszlo, I think your last few callers are a perfect example of manners in this city. People are rude, and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up an exercise bar because I hadn't had breakfast or lunch. So I go up to pay, and the lady's like, a dollar twenty-five, please. So I get out my checkbook, and this guy behind me is like, oh, come on, lady, you don't have two dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last two dollars last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices. And besides, who are you anyway? Can't you see that I'm wearing my I Walk Easter t-shirt? are so inconsiderate. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. A another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherise, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guy, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me honking and flashing your lights. Then he gets over this megaphone and says to the woman in the steel my bus two months. Stay close. Come on, help me out here. Come on, stay close. Give me the covering fire. I need a message. I like this year too. was playing. Come on, man, 
can't keep up. Dude, I'm innocent. Hey, dude's over here. I ain't into the dude thing, man. Oh, oh. My hair? Thanks. You bother to chase me, I'm faster than you. Can't you chase somebody else? Skank, you look like a punk, bitch. Hey, this way. Hey, I'll see y'all later. Hey, homies, you wait here. Every man for himself. I 
I'll see y'all fools later. What you say to me? Have fun rolling with y'all. See you later. You got scrap. Ah! Ow! Oh, thanks, G. Homies, over here! You ain't shit, fool. Street ain't a gang. Damn. Ah! Whatever you say, bitch. What you dudes waiting for? Man, you creeping me out! Was tight. Good look. This might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. <laughs> Liberty City Survivor. Natural Selection has come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right. Get out of here, bitch! Son of a bitch! Oh! 
you dudes waiting for? Very kind of you. Okay, let's keep on running. Now. Final mission, to storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. <laughs> Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring in... Stop treating me like a bitch! I think you should go see a shrink, officer.
gonna get us through off the year. Stop Rock here on Head Radio. My little fans are playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. His shop teacher called me today, and Sam made a homemade banana cannon in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, what? King and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes, and two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to, and three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Does it offend you? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating feeling the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind from the north on your naked body. I, I, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech and free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drinks. I'm naked and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter? When the wind blows and it's really cold, I mean, do you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Drop for the...